Check your panties. About 175,000 rice. I think that was supposed to be pantries. <laughs> Today, should Brock be scared? Of his own play. You need to be nice. How about the Jets? Should they be psyched? From bad to worse, no. <laughs> should this man be dead dude's due to the week? Oh, if he's lucky. Sports Nation is presented by Toyota. No jacket on. Welcome to Sports Nation. Michelle Vito, Marcel Spiley, and the lovely Anita Marks is hey, all hey. the way on the West Coast. Woo. I like this. Are you tempted to move out here now? A little. I know. It's I've only perfect. been out here about 24 hours. Mm. Like that's all you need. I don't, all think right. I'm, I don't think I'm going back. No, you're not. Sports. We Mark's man. Go. This Monday, Brock Osweiler oh. faces his old team, the Broncos. One of his former teammates, Brandon Marshall, is really looking forward to hurting him. Take mm. a listen. Nobody has any ill will towards Brock, but at the same time, it's competition, and we want to shut him down, you know what I'm saying, just because it's Brock. We know Brock. He came from here, um, and we want to kill him. That's just what we want to do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> mm. Now, should he be scared? Brock? No. Why would you be scared? Never scared. Shout out to Bone Crusher, wherever you are, one hit wonder. Oh, um, I got love goodness. for Bone Crusher, and I got love for guys what? who go out there and say this. Guess what? You go hard every single play 100%. You can't go harder than your hardest. That's true. You can't go more than your 100%. Are you really telling on yourself saying you don't go 100% all the time? You're not trying to kill every single quarterback you see? Only when you see a quarterback that used to play for you is the times that you want to go your hardest when you want to kill him. I'll just laugh at this mind game, and then I'll play the same game with him. You might always want to kill an opponent, but you verbally come out and say it. I spoke to Jeff Legwald today, who covers, of course, the Denver Broncos. He said there's some underlining issues here. First of all, teammates are upset that Brock Osweiler did not and go to the White House, who doesn't want to meet Michelle Obama, yeah. right? Mm. That's number one. Yeah. Number two, he didn't go to the ring ceremony. He's they, busy. They, they understand politics. They understand you've got to make that paper. But he did not respect this team to celebrate their Super Bowl championship. And then on top of that, on the other side, you've got Brock, who apparently is upset that he got fooled when Peyton Manning was healthy. So now well, that's just not being realistic. Yeah. But Anita, all right? that sounds well, like I mean it's not like Peyton all that Peyton sounds like to no, me but... is that outside the lines and maybe in some gamesmanship, maybe in some dirty plays, they'll try to do extra. But in your play-to-play -play behavior, it's going to be the same because the intensity is already at a maximum level. So whether I hate you or not, I'm trying to take everyone's oh, see, hand there's off. There's always just a little left in the tank for for special people. I feel like they're all it's always there, a <laughs> little bit. Uh, next up, Aaron Rodgers not having the best of seasons. Now one of his former teammates, Greg. Jennings is saying that the media too often gives him a pass. Quote, we've given Aaron passes every single year. When mm, they don't mm. have success, it's dispersed to everyone else. The media spend it to where everything was always great with his play, but there was always something wrong with the receiving end of the play if there was an issue. Okay, Greg Jennings is talking. Uh, I want to show you some areas in which Rodgers has struggled and compare it to another quarterback. On the right, okay. can either of you guess who who has the numbers on the right? That quarterback on the right. Let's say Brock Osweiler. Let's go there again. Okay. No. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> and the rest are doo -doo. Oh my God. That's the greatest graphic we've ever put up on the show. Aaron Rodgers. It tells us the whole story. Marcellus. Yes. Do we give him a pass? Absolutely, we give him a pass. I don't give him a pass, and that's probably why not. Aaron Rodgers doesn't like me as much as other <laughs> people in the media. He's taking shots at me before. Shots you know? back at you, Aaron. Yeah. Yes. Your play. Shots Look, fired. Aaron Rodgers, he was regressing last year, but thankfully he was saved by the masking agent of the injury to Jordy Nelson and the mm. injury and out of shape of Eddie Lacy. So everyone said it's not Aaron Rodgers. Oh, why? Because he doesn't have receivers? Oh, the same thing that Tom Brady had to face for most years in his career? No receivers, no pass given to Tom Brady. So now you look at him this year, his years, his yards per attempt are at their lowest. Now, in his MVP years, it was at nine. Now it's at six. This is per attempt. He's throwing the ball shorter, and he's still not completing it. He's certainly regressed. All right, let me ask you this. When a team does well, who gets the credit? Quarterback. Right. When a team does poorly, who gets, who, who's, who's to blame? Quarterback. Right. So at the end of the day, Whoa, coach, well, well, not it all, Green Bay. It's it not Aaron Rodgers. We're gonna blame him. At the end of the day, it all evens out, in my opinion. And when it comes to quarterbacks in the NFL, now I'm kind of I'm looking at this. I'm looking at Greg Jennings' comments, and I'm I'm thinking like ex-girlfriend scorn. 
Uh, okay. Because one thing that I, one thing I do hear, one thing sounds like ex boyfriend scoring to me, Anita. So <laughs> one thing I hear about about Aaron Rodgers is that he's a great player but not a good teammate. And and I've heard that from players who played yeah. at Green Bay. Yeah. Now and so you agree with me. Number two. One thing about what quarterbacks do, listen, franchises want to keep quarterbacks happy. So if a quarterback really wants a player, like let's say James Jones, he'll go to the franchise and say, I want, I want to keep that player, let's pay him. Let's. So from what I understand, Aaron did that with James Jones. He's done that with a few offensive linemen. He did uh -huh. not do that. With Greg Jennings. He did not do that for Greg Jennings. But, but, so a little, a little. Uh, great investigative reporting, but do not deny numbers that's what we're talking about when your numbers were compared to ryan fitzpatrick and what i just talked about the regression there that's a different conversation Which is, but what you're by saying. the way perfect timing because now we get to speak of one ryan fitzpatrick who has been so <laughs> so bad this only, season for the Jets. only two souls how so much so, 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 so bad guess who's starting sunday one gino smith no! his first start mm. since december 28th of 2014 now a look at the Jets quarterback situation oh. right now. There it lies before you. Many numbers, a sad story indeed. Um, <laughs> Anita, yes. I don't know how I'm going to do this with a straight face. I know. Should Jets players be fired up about this move? <laughs> Actually, I, the bigger question here is what went wrong? If, mm. if, you, oh. if you recall, when Brandon Marshall went to the Jets, he was on first take. And they were there. He sat down with Stephen A and all those, all those guys and said, the reason I came to New York was to play for Geno. Then the punch happened. By it the way, did do you know do you know the Jets facility? They actually have an ATM machine. No. I think there went. Did you have an ATM machine? In, in, no, and, I and don't you remember that. For like 15 teams. Exactly. Right? Yeah, yeah. They Damn. actually have an ATM. <laughs> yeah. That's brilliant. That's silly. I'm sorry. We just met. No, I, I love I love you too. <laughs> no. She's right so, though. <laughs> but you couldn't pay this guy. So what ha what went wrong? Mm. In the course of the punch, and then now, and then Brandon Marshall. I mean, he's like he's going down in the fits. Chemistry. He he's going down in the fitzy shit. So that was a close I, thing I, so to they, say on television so, and so get away with it. Yeah, <laughs> well done, Anita. I did pretty well. So, to, so to answer your question, no, I don't. I don't think players in that locker room are happy. I think this is. I think this is Fitzpatrick's. Oh. I think this is Fitzpatrick's locker room. But it's depressing. And, and another thing, really quick, is oh, you got more. Keep this, going. Yeah, I do. This team's one in five. They're not going anywhere. Why? And Gino's not going to be there next year. Can't okay. be worse. Why? Well, look, why are you going with worse. Gino? Why don't you go with Bryce Petty? I, I, I'm not fired up that Gino is starting. I won't lie, but I'm certainly fired up that Ryan Fitzpatrick is not starting. I'm, I'm fired up that he's on the bench because at least we have hope. Now, hope. What is hope. it going to turn into? We don't know. We're going to see after the first series if Gino can keep the ball Oof. in his possession, not throw interceptions. But they're in a bad situation all around. They really are. Really and that's bad. all we have for you. Just um, pay the man his money. No. Mm. Dirty plays. Mm. This is what we were waiting on. Vontez Burfecht spent his Sunday going after Martellus Bennett's knees and allegedly stomping on LeGarrette oh, Blunt. Did that hurt? Will not be suspended for his actions after an NFL investigation. He will, however, be fined 10000 bucks. Former NFL Vice President of Officiating Mike Pereira told Rich Eisen earlier this week, quote, if it's a fine and not games, they don't have any guts. Today, Marvin Lewis said he didn't think Burfecht did do anything wrong. Now, yesterday, Marcellus, you were very uh, strong on the idea that you're not supposed to, to judge someone based on their history. It's supposed right. to be instance by instance, and that is fine. However, in this particular case, I have a list in front of me of how many instances this guy has done. He's paid in fines a total of 279329 bucks. clearly hasn't learned anything from it. And what I worry about is that the next thing he does, the next person in his target is going to actually get really, really hurt, and they're going to look back and say, well, why didn't we suspend this guy so this didn't happen? Well, he was suspended. This is a lot of shoes. <laughs> so many shoes. He ain't lying. <laughs> a lot of shoes. Red bottoms on top of that. So many um, red bottoms. Look, 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 the thing about that is, uh, in the NFL, uh, our judicial system, our penal system is those fines or suspensions. He was fined and suspended three games this year. Right. After that, you're supposed to have a clear slate. <laughs> He's not given a clear slate, so now retroactively, we do the witch hunt and find things like this that aren't egregious. But let's get on Mike Pereira. Hold on, big dog, former official, uh, head of officiating. Which narrative is true about the NFL? Is it too tough on discipline mm. or is it the no guts no, league? Because it's, that one. it's okay. The second it, one. The second one, right yeah. now it is, because I thought all along Roger Goodell's too tough on these guys. Three game suspension for this guy. The same guy we're talking about. I thought 75,000 was the perfect number. No more. Now, I, I was watching the show yesterday and I couldn't agree with you more, but Thank I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull a little. When I played, okay, okay, Ooh. because when I played, you talk about playing with men. I played with women, women's professional football. I was on the bottom of that huddle. 
I was getting poked in the eye. I was getting punched. My hair was bleeding. I was Gross. getting. I was. Oh, yeah, that's why. <laughs> this beads, sounds horrible. Beads. That's why you see when a quarterback's at the bottom of the pile. That's why you see a lot of offensive linemen trying to pull everybody off exactly. because it's brutal. This is my point. A lot of guys do this. Exactly. He just got caught. Right. Oh, that's oh. you. Oh. He just this got... This is crazy. He that is you for real. Busted. That is a real thing happening right now. He just got busted. So. I know, but he keeps getting busted to the tune of $279,000. That wasn't a sexy look. <laughs> well, I, I thought was it was. You? I know, that wasn't a... I'm sorry. But oh, I do kind of want to poke someone in the eye. I'm not going to lie. I mean, at the bottom of the pile? I would do it every time, yeah. And get away time. with it? <laughs> yep. Bad news. Three jeers. It's not really bad news. Just for yeah. these people, it is. Uh, Cubs outfielders. That's the concept Ooh, of the purge. Dude. You get away with it at the bottom of the bottom. Jeez. <laughs> Two outfielders <laughs> going for the slow. Oh, what oh, happened they, last night? They can't get right there. If they, someone says you got it, you actually move out of the way. I do. They are. Oh. Can they score a run? How about that? Well, we're going to find and out. And can their batters hit? That what, get oh. another shot. Uh, two cheers for oh. Ivan Rovarov. Oh. Flyers Blackhawks cannot. By the way, hockey's happening, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Yeah, is hockey, has it, it's a, a, is it regular happening. season now? Yeah. Their regular oh. season started way before NBA. Hmm, okay. Hmm. Now we know. Aren't you supposed to be able to skate to <laughs> play hockey? that? Now we Fun know. Fun facts. <laughs> Three cheers for Kenneth Fareed. Uh, Nuggets, oh, Thunder. No. Sure. Oh, man. Oh, that's it happens. Oh. Get it out now, though. Get Actually, it, out it now. doesn't. All right, Kenneth Fareed, we need the Manimal back. I know, we do need the animal back. I don't know what that animal is. Uh, this weekend, we saw some pretty awesome players making some pretty awesome plays. Only one, however, is good enough to be Marcellus's dat dude of the week. Who will it be? This is sports. <laughs> <laughs> got money, baby. Sports Nation is presented by Toyota. Let's go places. Welcome back to Sports Nation, presented by Toyota. The round off the tank we go waka 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 block. Em. Okay, Big okay. Let's go, baby. It's time for that dude's dudes. Here's Michelle Beadle and that dude. Always so shy. So shy. Welcome back. It is time to do the that dude's dudes. It has been a really, really long time. So before we get started, can you remind us what this is about? Yeah, that dude's dudes. Those are the guys who are unheralded, sometimes unknown. They're the guys who make the highlights. So before you can see the big plays, Who's doing the dirty work? Those are dad dudes. dudes. All right, these are dad's dude, dad dudes, dudes. It's not easy to say. <laughs> we'll, we'll start with honorable mention. Yes, and we will go with a guy with a big name, so he's honorable mention. Mm. His name is Aaron Donald. Yay! All the way up. We're going to look at Aaron Donald on this play at the left defensive tackle position. Does an excellent move from the three yeah! position and gets to Matthew Stafford. But watch how he does it. First thing he does is gets the hands off him. You have to do that. Make sure the offensive lineman doesn't stab you in the chest. True. Then after that, you rip it. He ripped it to the sky all the way up. And now, as coaches always emphasize, collapse the arm, preferably at the elbow. If you can't, do it just like Aaron Donald did around the tricep. And last but not least, look at this angle. Ooh. Got to get the protractor out to see what this guy's <laughs> angle is. You talking about leaning in the corner just like a motorcycle? That's what Aaron Donald did on that play. All the way up. I haven't seen a protractor in quite some time. <laughs> Third grade, fourth I'm not going to lie. Yeah, you had to buy it every year. You never used it. Um, <laughs> So what are we going, third place? We're going with third the, place, The right. bronze? Yes, and the bronze medal goes to Garrick Dieter from Alabama. Who? Oh, Garrick Dieter. Look at that You got to pick your poison when you play football. We're going to watch Garrick Dieter at the wide receiver position. You can see Garrick Dieter out there blocking. Uh -oh. Now, this is not just a typical block. You can't be on that dude's dudes if you just do the normal. But this is a guy who got his hands on the inside, able to control. <laughs> you can't serve two gods in football. Either get the blocker off you or make the play on the ball carry. He got caught in the middle, and now he's getting driven and steered all the way to the sidelines. Wow. Great play by Garrett Dieter as he took advantage of a DB kicking in the backfield. Mr. Dieter. Yeah. Good hair. Second place. Second place. We have Jonathan Casillas from the New York football Giants. Head down, man down. We're going to see on this play, lined up in the goal line formation 
at the linebacker position. Oh, Excellent God. play. And everyone saw that play, but why is this a highlight? First thing he does, gets his hands on the helmet. Coach always says, put your hands on his number. He does it even better. Head down, man down. Then he oh. erases his feet. So you saw the little stutter step in the air. That came from clearing your feet. You have to erase your feet. And last but not least, explode into him. Why do you go to the weight room? Why do you do all of those flexion drills? It's for that right there, to explode like a bull and make the highlight Wait, play. Ex explain to me erasing the feet. Erasing the feet. Yeah. So when I come to clear you, if a lineman is coming, first thing I do is put my hands on his numbers or on his head, and then he is going to lunge. But when he lunges, I have to erase my feet. You see that? Still got a little Turn bit of that. that. Got to yeah. erase my feet. Got to erase my feet, baby. Got to clear those feet out the way so that play can be made right there. That's what it is. Erase Don't ever do that Don't do that again? again? Okay, I'm We're out of breath anyway. We're actually doing every show. <laughs> um, first place, we are there. Who is it? Oh, and in first place, the gold medal goes uh -oh. to Joe Gaziano of yes, Northwestern. Yeah. Flatline. Now, this is going to be That's an amazing awesome. move, and this is going to be even a better sack oh. as we're going to see Joe Gaziano pull off the amazing oh. feet. Now, first thing he does is he comes up and he gives you the power move. You see the inside foot looking strong, but then he squares up, but his inside foot's in the air. That's a setup move. He's not going inside, but the offensive lineman thinks he is. He goes inside. And now you see Joe go around the corner uh -uh. as the lineman took the bait. And all that's left is that quarterback in a flat line. <laughs> rampart, rampart. Decapitation situation. <laughs> Takes his head off. Is that, is that a thing? And, th that's a thing now. Hashtag. And Joe Gaziano, you are yeah. our first that dude dude. So we've been doing these, what, three years now? Three years. Have we gotten anybody to give us prizes that we can send to, uh, for example, Gaziano? No, but you know what? We're going to start that. That's going to be something. We're okay. going to keep this continuous. We're going to build this up. And Maybe we're out of our own up. pocket we could come up with something. Man. Exactly. Hey, why don't you hashtag it, that dudes dudes, on Twitter. We'll take a look at it every week and maybe you'll be on the show and How maybe we'll get a prize for you there it is probably not we will be right back with winners and also some losers this is sports nation <laughs> losers let's start with a dude who set the world record for highest jump on a pogo stick cleared 11 feet Stupid or dumb record? Um, I would go not impressive uh, because not I don't know impressive. how do I separate him from the stick. Like, was it a better stick or was it what a better man? What an interesting band? conundrum. Did I just I, go there? Did actually, just... he did it in front of his grandmother's oh. house. Okay. <laughs> Look at me. What are we wearing? What are, what are we you wearing? What are you both know. wearing? Is that me? Am yeah. I selling it? Whatever I'm selling, like don't buy it. I dress like on top and like naked on the bottom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, Marcellus looks like a car rental I, I, actually, I, I told the producers before the show. Would you I like mid-size? Have a pogo stick. Like, <laughs> That's my it. grandmother <laughs> bought me a pogo stick, and I actually used to bounce outside her house. It's impressive. Just like this dude. It's wow. impressive. It Did is. Did you just give us feet. your whole history of pogo sticks? Yeah, yeah. She well really went there. Uh, loser. <laughs> regular blocks. LeBron James had a cool chase down block in preseason action last night. And there it is, Marcellus. Yeah, in there, yep. in there, Somewhere in there. Steph Curry and the Warriors are cringing. I was going to say, you think <laughs> it's that? like flashbacks? Yeah, it would not look out. Look out, Igor yeah. You never forget something like that. No, right? don't, you, you don't you guys feel like we've seen this? Like, been there, done that, got the free t-shirt. Like, something new. We want we something have. new. Like, this is getting old already. No, yeah, yeah, no it's a great walk? play. How's I'll it getting it. old? Like, touchdowns get old? No, it's a great play. That's a great point. Winner, Toon Squads. Uh, Space Jam will return to movie theaters this November in celebration of its 20th anniversary. 20 <gasps> years. How so young do huh? you feel? Let's take Junior. Uh, well, you got to take senior to the first one because I never saw the first one. So, how the hell, Junior goes? <laughs> Come on, man! Look at chunks! Look at my little yeah. chunks! Look at my little chunks! Look at that big old boy! Yay! Look at him, Daddy! You want to go see Space Jam? Sir? Okay, I'll take it. him to the theater. All right. Well, He's like 17. Yeah, he wants to see R-rated movies that big. <laughs> well, you're that big. Okay, all kidding aside, is he working yet? Because he's in it. That's the most Yeah, he's working at the car child. place that he's no, selling the car. No, come on. <laughs> Loser, teammates, last night preseason, Steven Adams took an accidental hit, <laughs> accidental, to the groin from Victor Oladipo. Oh. This is not how teammates are supposed to be. This is what I don't understand, okay? When I play sports with women, we're not like punching each other in the boobs. Mm. Like, yes, I, like, we are. Well, <laughs> you've never I played don't know with where to go with that. If you ever saw that sport. <laughs> <laughs> but Marcellus, like, 
Explain this. Explain this to me. Isn't tickets the family jewels? Isn't this supposed to be off limits? Yeah. Like what? Well, it is off like, limits. We see this all the time. I just I hope that he's healed from the playoff experience. I know. Like, what this if poor guy. Look, he's already bruised down there, and. If I was him, I would just remove it so you don't have to deal with it. Just let it go, like Ginobili. Twitter, 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 Twitter,